Hi there, this is Chris Chapin the Cat from Moto Legends, here today to talk to you about a single layer gene from our Italian friends at Spidi. It is called the Spidi J and Dyneema gene. So this is the Spidi J and Dyneema gene. It's been in their range quite a while. It's one of two single layer genes that we offer. The other is the J-Tracker. J-Tracker is a lovely gene. It is made from a cotton cordura mix, so it sits at the slightly lower end in terms of abrasion resistance. This is a different kettle of fish. Now, obviously, as a single layer gene, you don't get any Kevlar lining. The future is in single layer genes as far as we're concerned. Kevlar, when it lines a gene, works perfectly well. It gives you the abrasion resistance, puncture resistance, and tear resistance that you might look for, but in the summer, you are wearing a padded trouser, it's difficult to sweat, cool air can't reach the body. So in the summer, you are much better off with a single layer gene. Obviously, you then have to choose the single layer gene that meets your requirements in terms of abrasion resistance and so on. But as I've mentioned, we think the future is in single layer genes. Now, the level of protection in single layer genes changes from model to model. This is a gene that uses, for its strengthening, it uses a material called a, called a Dyneema. Now, Dyneema is a UHM WPE, that's an ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. I know no more than that, I just know it's a very strong material. It's often cited as being 15 times stronger than steel, the world's strongest fiber, and it is, on a pari pursu basis, 40% stronger than an aramid. But how it works in a gene depends very much on the mix of Dyneema to cotton. And we've seen Dyneema gen genes out there that have a 25% component of Dyneema. And to tell the truth, that's fine, but that's not gonna give you a gene that's often any more abrasion resistant than say a cotton cordura gene. This gene has a composition that is 60% Dyneema, 38% cotton, and 2% elastane for that little bit of, of stretch and a more a comfortable fit. Now, in terms of the rating, this is an AA rated trouser. That's the same as pretty much every textile trouser on the market. One cannot really complain about AA. The higher rating, AAA is normally reserved for leather and some jeans. We do have some AAA rated jeans, but AA is perfectly acceptable. Particularly as in this case, a couple of years ago, we asked Spiddy to go and get a test for this, an abrasion test on a Cambridge machine. This came in at a 4.1 seconds, so that's a slide time of 4.1 seconds. As far as we're concerned, that's almost the perfect amount of abrasion resistance. You can have genes that are 6, 8, even 10 seconds, but 4 seconds is about the same as leather. In truth, you're never going to need a gene that is more protective than that. And the balance of, because it's 4 seconds and not 6 seconds, it's a bit lighter and easier to wear. I think that's the perfect balance. This is a trouser that you could wear all day. We often say this, but as a jean, this is going to wear like a pair of, of Levi's. You won't notice any difference between your regular street jeans. You could wear these all day long. In terms of other protection, you've got armour in the knees. You've got Spidi's own um, armour, hips and knees. It's adjustable in the knees, not in the hips. Now, one of the things that Spidi do, because this jean's been around for a while, and I think the way these things have moved on a little bit, they have quite a large mesh lining. And it's not what one expects of a single layer gene today. The idea is when you turn a single layer gene out, it looks like a gene. That gets in the way of this a wee bit. The lining does have, it has a couple of purposes. The lining does help air move around the gene. So it makes these a little bit nicer to wear in hot weather. But most people these days want a single layer gene that when you turn them inside out, they look more like that than, than like that. But what this mesh lining also does it carries the armour. It's not the way a lot of people are doing it, but we understand why it works perfectly well. I have to say, personally, the armour in this is fine. It's a flat armour, but if you wanted the ultimate in comfort, I would be taking this armour out. You can't do it in the hips. There's no point in the hips. The hip armour is in a huge pocket, but for the knees, what I would be doing is taking the ghost armour, if I wanted to have them even nicer for wearing on the street, I'd be taking their armour out, I'd be putting in the ghost armour. We do a version of ghost armour, obviously with, with Velcro. This attaches with Velcro because it is adjustable. 
In terms of the gene itself, it's a zip fly. A lot of people, a lot of our customers in particular, do not like button flies. Um, a button fly, when you're on the bike, you want to get off the bike, go and have a pee, get back on the bike. Spending all that time doing up buttons is just something that a lot of customers do not want to do. Uh, so it's nice to have a zip fly. It's a classic five, potten, five pocket gene. So two pockets here with a change pocket. On the back, we have two classic rear pockets. It sits not too low. It's a bit higher than some, uh, some jeans. Obviously, the problem with some motorcycle jeans these days is they are following fashion. They have a slightly low rise. This is not the highest rise gene. We have high rise genes. There's a fantastic one from Roka, for, for example, that sits somewhat higher than this. But we've not found a problem with this gene in terms of the way it, it fits. It is, however, a slim fit. It's Italian, it's typically Italian. We have some stretch, so, so it's not an uncomfortable fit. If it is tight around the calf, a lot of people on the street are used to wearing um, jeans that are almost legging-like in their, in their fit. So if that's the look you want, this is not an uncomfortable jean to wear because it has a bit of stretch in, but if you do not like slim jeans, then I don't think you're gonna like these. I've got to say also because it's spiddy and it's Italian, the sizes tend to come up rather small. So if you are a 32, for example, you might in this gene want to take a 33. Come and see us, obviously, and what we do, we adjust it all. We make sure the arm is in the right place. We make sure that the leg length is right, and that we do um, at our cost. If you come and see us, we sit on the shop bike and make sure all of that works. You can also clip this. There's a clip arrangement that enables you to clip this into any spiddy jacket. But what we like, because it has a set of belt loops here, if you wanted to zip into a jacket, we would be using Halvarsons that waste the zip. So that goes in and out of the belt loops. You put your belt in and out of this, you end up with a 360 degree zip. It will fit naturally into any Halvarsons jacket or into any Rucker jacket. But by changing the zip at the top of the Halvarsons waist zip, we could make this zip into any, sp any spitty jacket, indeed anyone's jacket. In terms of sizing, it goes all the way from 20 in 28 inch waist up to a 34 inch waist in inch increments. So that's really useful um, because if you are a, a 29 inch, then, oh sorry, let's say you're a 30 inch, going up to a 32, it's quite a big jump. So from 28 to 34, it goes up in inch increments. From 34 all the way up to 40, it is two inches. The color, as you can see, they call it a black. It's actually, if you get really close to it, it's a really, really dark blue. Um, but it's the kind of jean that's smart enough to be worn in an office. Um, I just think they're a, a, a lovely jean, beautiful and, and comfortable to wear and very smart. Priced at 285, so it sits somewhere between the lower priced Cordura cotton jeans and the jeans at the top end of the market, like for example, the Rokas, which are 350 pounds. Not that many black jeans on the market. So if you are looking for a black jean, this may be one of the few choices you, you have. I think really you've got to try and try them on. It's a fabulous jean, but it's got to fit fit you. If you want to see more from Spiddy or more single layer jeans, then I suggest you visit the website motolegends.com. If you want to learn more about this particular jean, then click on one of the links on the screen. Sometimes they're up there, sometimes they're down below. Now, when you buy from us, we try to make the process as simple, straightforward and risk free as we possibly can. There's no delivery charge on anything that you buy from us, nor is there any charge for return. So, if having received something you've decided you don't want it for whatever reason, you can return it to us at our cost. And we give you a full 12 months in which to make that decision. We have a price promise that we think is better than anybody's. John Lewis is rightly famed for their never knowingly undersold price promise. They will match anyone else's price. We go one stage better. If you find anyone selling anything that we sell at a price that is lower than ours, we will beat that price by a full 10%. If the seller is in the EU and not in the UK, we will match their landed price. There are a few terms and conditions on the website, nothing particularly onerous, but if you are going to price beaters, it might be worth spending a few seconds on the website, check out what those terms and conditions are. Now, if in the future you'd like to receive bulletins from us about new releases, then on the front page of the website, in fact, I think it's on every, every page of the website, there's a small piece of script at the top that says newsletter sign up, click on there, within seconds you'll be in business, you'll receive bulletins from us in future. If, however, you prefer to get your information in this form, that is to say video a video graphically, then we would be delighted if you wanted to become a subscriber and you can do that by clicking on the button below. Right now, during 2020, we're running a little promotion. 
later in the year, just before Christmas, I think we'll be giving away a Steve McQueen tribute bike to someone who is a subscriber to our YouTube channel. It's based on a 125cc Mutt bike. It's a fantastic little machine. You'll find details about it. There's a video about it on our YouTube channel. You can also read about it on the front page of our website. Finally, I'd like to make a little play for our fabulous shop here in Guildford. We're based about a mile from the town centre, a mile from the railway station. The shop itself is small, it's got a small footprint, but it's attached to our warehouse where we have two million pounds worth of merchandise over three floors. Technically makes us the second largest shop in the country. But we think that we are far more than just about the amount of merchandise we have here. We're all about the service, we're all about personal fitting. If you want to check us out, then visit Trustpilot. We have the highest five-star ranking in the business. When you come and see us, we'll serve you only the finest Italian Illy coffee. We will serve you Yorkshire tea in a proper teapot. And who knows, if you're really lucky, you might even get one of Sean's mum's fabulous motorcycle-shaped shortbread biscuits. Anyway, this has been Chris. I hope to talk again soon.